Thomas Robert Malthus gave the Malthusian theory of population. He was an English scholar and he was the first thinker to talk about population and wrote the first essay on population that is the principle of population in 1798. As we all know that when the population keeps on increasing, the natural resources that are present around us in the nature, they keep on diminishing. And therefore, there is an inverse relationship between the increasing population and the diminishing natural resources. So this is the basis of his theory. He disfavored population growth. He said that it is not good for the population to grow at an increasing speed because the resources keep on diminishing and it leads to poverty and misery because nobody has control over the resources. Even when we think we can provide for everyone, we cannot and as a result, major, a majority of the people, they suffer because they cannot get access to the resources. He said that the power of population is indefinitely greater than the power of the earth to produce subsistence for man. So if the earth can produce only a limited amount for the people, but if we keep on growing in population, there will not be enough for everybody. So the power of population is so great. It is so immense that the power of earth seems low at it. We have read in the news during Corona that nature is healing itself. It is providing for itself. So the damage that population did, nature is healing it. Therefore, when earth cannot uh, produce for the people and when it cannot take the load of the population, it takes some measures to heal it. And we will discuss about the same in the lecture. He has talked about population and food supply. He said that there is the geometric growth of population and arithmetic growth of food supply. So, when the population is increasing at the rate of 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and so on, the food supply is increasing at a slower rate that is arithmetic progression that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So at this rate the population will double itself in 25 years but the food supply will not uh, increase in the same manner. So what happens? There will be an imbalance. There, The equilibrium will be disturbed. So when this disturbance or imbalance is there in the equilibrium, the limit of food supply will be imbalanced as well and it will lead to poverty, it will lead to hunger, it will, uh, it will you know, uh, serve as an obstacle or a hurdle in the standard of living because in order to get a good standard of living, we should have access to the resources. But when we do not have access to resources, the living standard will go further down and not increase. So this is the law of diminishing returns in food production. What happens? Food supply increases at a slower rate than the rate of increase in population. Therefore, there will be shortage of food today or tomorrow and this shortage of food is related to excessive population which needs to be checked. So how will we check on this population? He has suggested two ways. One is natural, how nature checks and the second is preventive, uh, preventive checks when man has to uh, put on some checks. So nature, when man fails, for example, when earth heals itself, for example, today in the times of COVID-19, when earth is healing itself and we are in a lockdown because we could not manage the uh, rising population, the rising pollution and the things associated with it. So nature took control and it takes control of the increasing population. It can be in the form of epidemics, wars, earthquakes. So what happens when this happens, the level of population and the availability of food supply, they come into balance or equilibrium. The second is preventive checks. Preventive checks are done by humans. 
so it talks about the rate of growth of population which goes down so the rate of growth of population is diminishing in nature and while it gets diminished it comes in line with the food supply so again a balance is acquired examples can be self restraint celibacy late marriage simple living so when these things are taken into consideration by humans we automatically put preventive checks so these positive checks he studied some empirical data gathered it and talked about how disease hunger war famine earthquake etc they come to being when nature thinks that uh, when we feel that the everybody is not getting the basic minimum when you are deprived of the basic minimum there has to be an equilibrium and preventive measures or man made checks can be when we depress the birth rate when the birth rate has to go down so it can be achieved with celibacy or late marriage now coming to a different concept that is malthusian population trap what he talks about in this trap is when there is a high level of food production that we aim today we aim at very high levels of food production and high levels of profit this high level of production when it is combined with advanced techniques of agriculture it gives rise to high population levels again because the availability of food has become very easy so there is no struggle to get that food so everything becomes easy and in turn it gives rise to population so this leads to food shortage again and this high level of population it constructs its houses it lives on the land where crops were supposed to be grown but now the houses are built over that land now coming to the conclusion malthus said that mind uh, man ka sorry mankind can regulate the population by deferred marriage and celibacy he was one of the first thinkers to talk about modern demography and emphasized on family planning that is very much evident even today when the government talks about family planning so that you can lead a better life and you put less stress on earth as well this is the malthusian truth it is very effective for poor backward and underdeveloped countries who are already struggling and see when there is a family of four there is a struggle when you are poor but think when the family is of perhaps four children six children then the family becomes bigger and bigger and the struggle becomes even harder according to clark the repeated criticism of malthusian theory proves its originality and truth this is very much applicable even today and was as much applicable when he talked about it now let us discuss some questions here is an assertion and reason first the assertion coercing people to adopt family planning method has not worked reason will of a person alone created through awakening can be the effective measure now when we're talking about population when we coerce people you know the government keeps on telling you to adopt family uh, planning to uh, talk about uh, talk with the counselors they organize campaigns and awareness tv ads and everything but even then people have not uh, being familiar with family planning and they have not give stopped giving birth to three or more children so what happens is this coercion has not worked and the reason is will of a person yes it is a very important factor that if a person wants only then he will uh, think of being celibate or getting married late and this can be an effective measure so the answer will be both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of this assertion second question who opined that population grows an exponential rate while the means of subsistence uh, subsistence grows at a linear rate so this was given by malthus when he has talked about the exponential rate of population growth and whereas the food is growing at a linear rate which cannot match with the growth of population last question is conflicts usually emerge when there is a social disequilibrium when the equilibrium is imbalanced it will give rise to conflicts 
who makes us believe that conflicts take place when there is shortage in supply of articles or subsistence this is given by malthus when he has talked about when the people do not get the bare minimum the basic amenities the basic food and there is this shortage of supply because of the rising population conflict will arise i hope you got the lecture thank you for watching